the direction that your matting is going. So with this edge, paint it that way, you won't get it peeling up. down like that to get the air bubbles out and also make the white areas wet. This is going to go off. Be incredibly strong. Just the matting virtually start to disappear. That's good. Alright, I've got all my chopped up stuff that I need. My weave over there at the front and my chop strand at the back. It's just all sort of separated into what I need to use first and in a reasonably clean area where it's going to remain clean. I'm just going to fill in the crack with some resin straight up just to try and avoid getting air pockets in there. I really prefer to keep everything really wet. You'll notice when you're fiberglassing that if the fiberglass is kind of white, it's hard to explain. Um, if it's not wet enough, you'll notice it's like this dry whitish shit that's not good you don't want that at all. What I do, instead of putting it directly onto that and painting the resin on, is I dip my shit directly in, squeeze it off a bit, and that'll give the resin time to really soak into the weave which will help avoid those white dry spots. Yeah. Going straight over the crack. You can see the weave in there touching onto the tape underneath. And then I extend it right up to where that crack continued. Working out all the air. Repeating the steps. With the uh, other crack that wasn't completely all the way through like the big crack, but still needs to be strengthened up. Make sure you get it all wet both sides, press it down, doing it this way will help you if you're going into a corner, it's the worst thing is trying to get a dry piece of matting into a corner with your paintbrush and then trying to paint the shit on, it just doesn't work well. So if you get it all wet first and then put it in, it'll follow contours a lot better. All I'm going to do is just get this weave and kind of cross hatch it to try and strengthen the whole thing completely. As you can see, I like my shit really wet. So 
دی فانر بود کنی دیدی I'll just get this nice long piece to extend right over the damage and then down into the corner and up you see how nicely that went into the radius down the bottom it's all nice and wet which is how we like it and we'll just smooth it out a bit so it's all nice and bedded in yeah, that's a nice strengthening support there. When that dries, you're not going to get a lot of flex there. Now my resin is starting to go brown, which is telling me that I don't have a lot of time to work with here. And once I start working with the chop strand, I'll just go crazy. This one will be nice and gentle. Slowly work them out and then walk away. Alright, that's it. So we can see here I've got a bit of a high spot from where I pushed it down underneath, which is reasonably good for when we go to finish this side. But when I'm fiberglassing in the stringers, I might add a few extra layers on the top side there. Let's have a little look at this. All right, now I don't know if you can see it well, but that looks pretty damn good to me. And now we're going to get a little bit agricultural gonna make a shitload of mix up and I've got all my chop strand ready to go I'm gonna do the corners of that rail or stringer and the center stringer as well and also do a few more layers over my crack yeah so now we're gonna get a little bit agricultural I'm gonna make a shitload of mix up and I've got all my chop strand ready to go I'm going to do the corners of that rail or stringer and the center stringer as well and also do a few more layers over my crack yeah you notice I'm not going over the top yet once I'm all happy with um, how the bottoms are all sealed up then I'll cap it all over over the top <laughs> 